Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of permutations and combinations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if the number of words with or without meaning are arranged for the letters of the word mathematics with a condition that is given to us that C and S are not together. So we have been told that the number of ways in which the letters of the word mathematics are arranged such that C and S are not together are 6 factorial into K ways. Then they have told us to find the value of K. If I talk about the options that are given to us here, the first option given is 5, 6, 7, 0. Second option given to us here is 1, 8, 9, 0. Third option, 2, 8, 3, 5. The last option given to us here is 9. So we need to figure out which one of the following four options is the correct answer for the value of k. Let's figure that out. So if I talk about the first thing, idea to find number of ways in which c and s are not together. So whenever there is a case of not together, what we'll do here is we'll always go by the idea as we have discussed in the previous videos as well. So whenever the letters are not to be together, we will take it by the opposite idea such that total minus opposite idea. Total, it is without any condition. And opposite idea for this tells us C and S should be together. So let's figure out both of the ideas separately and then we'll subtract them to get the total number of ways in which C and S are not together. So if I try to figure out total number of ways without any condition of arranging the letters of the word mathematics, so if I try to write it in the vertical form M A T H E, again M repeating second time, A repeating second time, T repeating second time, then you have I C S. So these are all your letters. If you see how many letters do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So in total, you have 11 letters to be arranged. And we already have discussed the concept that n things can be arranged in a straight line in n factorial ways. Same way, 11 letters can be arranged in a straight line because you are trying to make a word. So you are trying to arrange them in a straight line or a row. So 11 letters can be arranged in a straight line in 11 factorial ways. Once you arrange them in 11 factorial ways, you are dividing by the number of times the letter is repeating. So M here is repeating two times. So you are dividing by two factorial. A is also repeating two times. So you are again dividing by two factorial. T is also repeating two times. So you are again dividing by two factorial. So total number of ways in which I can form this without any condition. 11 factorial upon 2 factorial is 2, 2 factorial is 2 and 2 factorial is 2. So you get 2 into 2 into 2 which is 8. The total number of ways in which I can arrange them without any condition is 11 factorial upon 8 ways. Let's see the next idea. So opposite idea if I go for. We have been given opposite idea with the condition that C and S are together. So now if we have the case of C and S being together, when you arrange the letters of the word mathematics, M-A-T-H-E, M-A-T-I, C and S when they are told us to be together, will consider them as one single letter. So how many letters in total we are arranging first of all, let's see that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this we are considering them as one single letter. So basically you have 10 letters. If you are considering them as one single letter. You have 10 letters and if you arrange those 10 letters in a straight line that can be done in 10 factorial ways. So once you arrange them in 10 factorial ways. C and S. When you're considering them to be in one single group, they can rearrange among themselves as S and C also. So basically, these two letters in the group can rearrange among themselves. 
in two factorial ways. So you are multiplying that by two factorial. Further, I am dividing by m repeating two times. So two factorial. A repeating two times. So again a two factorial. And t repeating two times. So again a two factorial. So what you are doing here is you are cancelling these two factorials. You are getting the answer as 10 factorial upon 2 into 2 which is so you get total number of ways in which E and S are together is 10 factorial upon 2. So if you count the number of ways in which C and S are not together that was given to us as 6 factorial into K. So if I do it by the given idea, total minus opposite idea. So total we already know 11 factorial upon 8. Opposite idea told us 10 factorial upon 4. Equating that with 6 factorial into k. So what I will do is I will convert all my factorials in the terms of 6 factorial. So it becomes easier for us to calculate the value of k. So let's do that. 11 factorial, I can write that as 11, 10, 9, 8, 7 and 6 factorial. Upon 8, minus 10 factorial, I can write as 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Upon 4 is equal to 6 factorial. So what I can do is I can take out 6 factorial common in the next step. 4, 1, 4, 2, 8, 1, 8, 1. So what I can take common, let's take them out. So I can see 10, 9, and 7, and 6 factorial. So 10, 9, 7, and 6 factorial, I can take out common. So what you are left with? You are left with 11 minus 2. It's equal to 6 factorial into k. So 6 factorial gets cancelled. You are left with 10 into 63, that is 630 into 9 is equal to k. So you get the value of k as 900, 0, 0. 9 threes are 27, 2, 9 six are 54 plus 2, 56. So you get the answer as the value of k to become 5, 6, 7, 3. And if you see the option that matches here with the question, the option that matches is option A. So A is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of arranging the letters of the word where some words are not together. So you will always go by the opposite idea as total minus opposite idea. So total we found out without any condition. You had 11 letters arranged in 11 factorial ways. Dividing by the number of times the letter is repeated. So M, A, T, both. All three of them were repeating two times, so you divide it by two factorial three times. Then opposite idea told us C and S should be together. So you consider them as one single letter. So then you have 10 letters to be arranged in 10 factorial ways. The letters in the one single group which you have kept it here can be arranged in two factorial ways. And then again you are dividing by two factorial three times because M, A, T repeats three times each. You get the total number of ways with the opposite idea. Then you just use the idea to find the total number of ways in which C and S are not together. That is 11 factorial upon 8 minus 10 factorial upon 4. That was equated with 6 factorial into K and that K was the value of K as 5670 matching with option B. So A becomes the correct answer for the question here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of Arranging the letters of a word with a condition where some of the words are not together. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12, as well as GWTs. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on GW. Thank you.